Hello from Zagreb, my name is Paul Bradbury from Total Croatia News and here is an overview of the news from Croatia this week, powered by Pixel. The catastrophic fire that broke out in the yard of Drava International in Osijek on Tuesday evening in which a huge amount of plastic waste burned is under control, but the dangerous smoke has continued for days. Although the measurement data carried out by the Institute, Andrea Stampar, indicate that the air quality is at the usual level. Citizens living in suburban settlements in the south and neighbouring municipalities are recommended not to go outdoors unless they have to. If they do come out, they are advised to wear a protective mask. On Friday, the workers organised a rally in front of the factory in support of the owner Zvonko Bede, saying that he is a boss who takes care of them, and Bede thanked them and broke down in tears and claimed that someone started the fire. A Croatian citizen was killed and another seriously injured in an accident near Venice on Tuesday evening in which 21 people died when a bus went off an overpass. The 24-year-old Croatian woman was on her honeymoon with her husband having got married three weeks ago in Split and they chose Venice as the starting point of their trip. The husband was seriously injured and is recovering in a hospital in Italy. Also among the dead was a five-member Ukrainian family that lived in Plitvica. Because of this, the Plitvica Yezera municipality declared a day of mourning on Friday. Zagreb Mayor Tomislav Tomasiewicz presented the results of the first year of implementation of the new waste collection and removal model, as well as seven new measures to improve the model, including the financing of bins and reimbursement of costs for them. He announced the purchase of more than 40 trucks, the employment of 200 new workers in the company Chistotza, and the replacement of the current Green Islands with semi-underground tanks. They came from Brussels to inspect how European money is being spent on earthquake reconstruction. The director of the Directorate General for Regional and Urban Policy of the European Commission, Sofia Alves, first visited locations in Zagreb and expressed her satisfaction with the reconstruction of the buildings destroyed in the earthquake, which are being renovated with the funds of the Solidarity Fund. Together with the delegation, she visited Petrinja and Sisak. And on Friday, she participated in the seventh high-level meeting on the topic of reconstruction and recovery after the earthquake, co-financed by the EU Solidarity Fund. Croatia managed to fully spend the funds from the EU Solidarity Fund in May 2023, a few weeks before the end of the eligibility period. The demolition of the Sumratin Hotel in Lapad Bay is underway, and preparations for it began at the end of September. A new hotel building will be built on the same site, which will be 22 metres high. The new four-star hotel on the Lepad Promenade will have 94 rooms. It will have six floors with an attic and a swimming pool on top. It is predicted that the works will last until 2025. The iconic hotel was built in 1918, immediately after the end of the First World War, and was renovated in 2010. In the second round Group C match in the Conference League, Dinamo Zagreb lost to Balkany Zero. Two on the road in Pristina registering their first defeat in the group. Zrinski from Mostar also played against English Aston Villa and also lost. Villa is Prince William's favourite club and he came to support them on Thursday. Although they struggled for a long time to score against a stubborn Mostar defence, Villa finally won it one, zero in stoppage time. After several months in the sea turtle recovery centre of the Pula Aquarium, the loggerhead turtles Annika and Jenny returned to the sea. The event at Verudella was enthusiastically followed by many children from Pula kindergartens. Annika, a turtle about 13 years old, arrived in January from Mali Loshin. She came to the centre due to buoyancy disorders and swallowed nylon, and upon arrival an x-ray showed the presence of a hook. Jenny, about seven years old, arrived in June from Split. After arriving at the centre, a fishing nylon 130 centimetres long was removed. The loggerhead turtle Rosa, who was rehabilitated during the summer months in an open pool in Briuni National Park, and the green turtle Kiti are still recovering. 